property. Correct? Loop invariant property. Fine. Now, what was the in a loop invariant property? This particular loop invariant property is used to check the correctness of an algorithms which are using loops. So there were three steps in loop invariant properties. What are these three steps? Initialization, then maintenance, and the last one is termination. So these are the three steps to prove the loop invariant property. What do you mean by loop invariant? See, there is a meaning for this particular term. What is the meaning of this loop invariant? It is a condition. It is a condition. Program variables. Fine. So this is one of the condition among the program variable that is necessarily true immediately before and after each iteration of a loop. I hope you understand the loop in, in what is a loop invariant? The loop invariant is a condition. Whose condition? It is a condition of a program variables. Th that particular condition is needed to be true or it, it is necessarily true immediately before and after each iteration of a loop. Okay, so that is my loop invariant property. I hope you understood the loop invariant term. And what is the loop invariant property? The loop in, in, invariant is a condition, right? That particular condition needed to be true before and after the loop. And how to prove this loop invariant properties? By using the three steps. The first is the initialization, second is maintenance, and the third is a termination case. Right? So till here it is okay. Now we'll see the example with the insertion sort. Right. We will see an example to prove the correctness of algorithm using loop invariant property with the help of an insertion sort. Right. So uh, see, this is a simple algorithm for the insertion sort. I, I hope you all are able to see this particular algorithm. Yes. So what are the inputs for it? Input is array A and the size of an array A. Correct. So this is my insertion sort. Now what we do in an insertion sort? Look at the uh, algorithm quickly so for j is equal to 2 to n so we take an array from the position 2 to n correct we assume that t is equal to that particular jth element that is initially it will be a of 2 correct and i will be j minus 1 correct what is the j what do you mean by j minus 1 so at the first case this i will be 1 right now what we have to do we have to execute a loop while i is greater than 0 fine and key is less than a of i what we have thought this key is a first element currently whenever key is less than a of i what we have to do we have to we have to swap we have to do a a of i plus 1 which is equal to a of i so we are shifting our i plus uh, a of i to i plus 1 and i is equal to i minus 1 if key is greater than y of j, then we don't need to do anything. Our array is already in a sorted position. When it is not in a sorted position, that time only we have to shift the element. This is a very simple logic of insertion sort. And at the end, once this particular loop is over, right, this particular while loop is over, a of i plus 1 is equal to key. So the key will be the next element. Right. So if the array, the current array under the observation is not an sorted array, then only shift the position of the element. Right. And then consider the A of I is equal to key. Otherwise, uh, in a simple manner, A of I plus one, which will be will be the key. Right. Which will be the consider as a key. So this is my simple insertion sort. I hope you all have understood the insertion sort. So what is the main logic behind the insertion sort is in the insertion sort, what we assume is the array, correct? The given array up to the given position is always sorted. So initially my 
array means uh, the array up to the index of i will be always sorted or up to the index of j it will be always sorted so initially what i have in an array i have only a of 1 correct a of 1 the first element will be only there in an array so first element is always a sorted element if there is only a single element it's a sorted and my unsorted array starts from j to n right that's the reason we take this condition at j is equal to 2 to n and then what we'll do we will consider this second element that second element will be compared with the first element which is all already there fine that second element will be compared with the first element which is already there and if the second element is smaller than the next element then just shift that particular element otherwise don't shift an a of i plus 1 which will be equal to k correct so this is how we will be working in a insertion sort so at a given moment the array right array up to j is always sorted and after j index it is unsorted array i hope you understand the statement which i'm trying to tell you a given array up to j index will be always sorted and after j to n the array after j that is from j to n will be unsorted in a insertion sort correct so now what i want to tell you is what is this loop in invariant what is the loop invariant in a given insertion sort so i will write here so my loop invariant for this particular insertion sort example is a sub array sub array 1 2 j minus 1 correct is always sorted fine so this is my loop in invariant i hope this is visible to all of you what i'm whatever i'm trying to tell you this is my loop invariant what this loop invariant says that sub array 1 to j minus 1 is always sorted again we'll go to this what is loop invariant loop invariant is a condition that is necessarily true immediately before and after each iteration of a loop right fine so i hope you understood what does this loop invariant means correct what is this loop invariant i will paste it here so loop invariant loop invariant is a condition so a condition that is necessarily true immediately before and after each iteration of a loop right so what is loop invariant in my case a loop invariant is a sub array sub array sub array what is that sub array sub array from 1 to j minus 1 and which is always sorted okay now what does it mean it means that jo bhi ko, koi mera sub array hai 1 to j minus 1 size ka wo sorted hona chahiye kab kab hona chahiye wo sorted to all these conditions of loop invariant property and before and after the execution of a loops it means that to the all these conditions right because before jo hota hai before kya hota hai initialization hota hai then before and after the loop every iteration kya hota hai maintenance phase hota hai right and at the end of a loop kya hota hai termination phase hota hai correct so to all these three stages of loop invariant property my sub array should be sorted now we'll look at the proof now look at this particular stage that is the initialization phase right now what happens in the initialization phase loop invariant holds before initialization what I said, loop invariant holds before the initialization. What does it mean? Jo mera sub, sub array hai. Sub array kaha se? 1 to j minus 1. Ab j kaha hai mera? J2 pe hai. To j minus 1 kya hai? 1 hai. So my first element, first element, sub array, sub array consists of only one element. Q Because it is from 1 to j minus 1. To j kya hai currently? 2 hai. So 1 to 1. So it means only first element. Is it sorted? Suppose you have sub, sub array mein ek element. So one element is sorted. Two elements are sorting, descending, ascending. 
that all criteria comes in the mind but when there is only one element in my consideration that is always sorted correct so what i said at initialization that loop invariant holds before initialization for j is equal to 2 sub array 1 a 1 to j minus 1 contains only one element that is a of 1 so this is a trivial case of a sorting it proves that loop invariant is true before the iteration understood all of you that how the loop invariant is true before the iteration now we will see the maintenance stage of loop invariant property correct now what it says in each iteration please look at this word what it says in each iteration fine so in each iteration the algorithm finds the condition correct position of a key है ना करेक्ट ना यहाँ पे हमने ऐसे ही लिखा है कोड दैट अलगोरिदम फाइंड्स द करेक्ट पोजीशन ऑफ अ की टू इंसर्ट एलिमेंट ए ऑफ जे बाय मूविंग ए ऑफ जे माइनस वन जे माइनस टू एलिमेंट्स करेक्ट व्हाट इट डू वेर एवर योर जे माइनस वन राइट पोजीशन इज देयर इट इज गोइंग टू मूव योर मूव योर करंट सॉर्टेड एरे एंड पुट द ए ऑफ जे एलिमेंट एट अ सॉर्टेड पोजिशन correct so after the loop a of j element will be inserted to correct position right all of you there with me that after the loop a of j element will be inserted to correct position so after the loop a 1 to j contains element same as yes what is it says it contains the element same as in a of 1 to j before the loop correct but now they will be in a sorted order how they are in a sorted order because the insert sort inserts the correct element at its own position by moving the remaining elements from the sorted part of an array correct so that's the reason i say that now a of j is also at its correct position Okay, that is a sorted order. So now again at the maintenance phase also invariant holds true. Fine. Here also your invariant holds true. So at two phases we have proved that invariant holds true. The first is the initialization phase. The second is the maintenance phase. Now we'll see the termination phase. Right. Now what does the termination says? Termination is at the end of a loop. So when your j reaches to n, that is your termination. Fine. Now what what happens in the termination? Once I reach to termination, when the j is equal to n, my a of j right will be at its correct location. My last element will be at its correct location. Right. And and my array, a complete array, a of One to n will be elements which will be in the position before the loop, but it is in a sorted order. Correct. So after the termination of a loop, my loop invariant again holds true. My array one to n will always be in a sorted after termination. So it what does the termination says? The loop terminates when j is equal to n. So each iteration inserts a of j on correct location so after n iterations all elements will be on their right position after the loop a of 1 to n contains elements same as in a of 1 to n before the loop correct but now they will be in a sorted order understood all of you so this is how my loop invariant works for the insertion sort and this is how we have proved that my pro proposed algorithm is correct okay so we have proved the correctness of a given algorithm this is this is how we prove the correctness of our algorithm using 